Good morning, Glacier. It's Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. He's Bennett and he's Dustin. And he's, he's Kovish. Here's your GTV episode and Daily Bulletin. In today's new staff spotlight, we introduce you to our new culinary arts teacher, Miss Wallen. Who are you? Uh, I am Miss Wallen. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, That's it. Where did you come from before you came to Montana? I have only been in Montana, so I did not come from anywhere else. Um, I was born and raised in Lakeside, Montana, so I was born here, raised here. And then I moved to Missoula for a few years, moved to Bozeman for a few years, and then I taught in Big Sandy, Montana for the last few years. And uh, what inspired you to become a culinary artist? <laughs> Um, by trade, I'm actually not a culinary artist. I am an English teacher by trade and a farmer by trade, uh, and I am new to the culinary arts field. That's awesome. <laughs> What's your favorite color? <laughs> well, I have a couple. He said to make it interesting, so we'll get interesting. Um, yellow or black. Entertainment. They are. Why? <laughs> They're opposites. I know you're thinking to yourself, those colors don't mesh well together. One represents sunshine. One represents the darkness. Um, I was trying to get creative with my story and I lost it oh, right no, there. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm a Gemini. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Impossible. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. I'm on my Leo energy. <laughs> Thank you very much. And now it's time for food review. Cove, Cove, we gotta go. Is it that time? It's that time, Cove. Food review! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's yours truly, Bennett. And Kovic. And we are here for another food review at the Bulldog and Whitefish. Here's the coordinates. <laughs> Everybody, so a little something different about this episode is that we are gonna be eating in the restaurant. We'll still show you where it is, uh, but unfortunately it's like really dark in there and it's a it's a bar, so obviously it's gonna be loud. We'll be filming, uh, we'll, we'll get our food to go and then uh, we'll just film us eating in the car or at someone's house. Catch you in the next clip. <laughs> We just finished eating. We're at my house right now. It was fantastic. Um, honestly, it's a great atmosphere. I really want you guys to go check it out. It's some whitefish. Um, let's dig into this food review, shall we? Let's do it. Um, so I'll start. I got that cheese steak, as you all know. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was fabulous. You got cheese steak and then uh, green peppers, I believe. I ate that whole thing in like a matter of 30 seconds. <laughs> Um, the one, the one thing I would ding are the fries. The fries just weren't that good. Um, and it might've been cause we had to drive down here, but they were soggy. And I feel like fries just shouldn't be soggy after like a, a 15 minute drive. Right. Um, nevertheless, cheese steak was phenomenal. Fries were mid, but yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to agree with Bennett on the fries. I will ding them for that. They were, uh, similar to the texture of a pool noodle. I'll give them that. <laughs> um, for the jalapeno burger I ordered, oh my goodness, it was fantastic. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of lettuce, so I took that off of there, but I, I can feel the heartburn setting in already. <laughs> That's how you know it's a good spicy meal. Um, the wings were fantastic. For a 15-minute drive, they really held up. Really, uh, They were really good, yeah. I think Bulldog Cafe is a 10 out of 10. Wait, Bulldog Saloon. I'm gonna have to agree with Cove on that. I no, no, I actually don't. I give Bulldog Saloon a 9.5 because of the fries, which just were not what they should have been. And here's what you need to know. Seniors, do you need help completing your FAFSA form? 
Representatives from the FVCC Financial Aid Department will be here today from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the main office conference room to assist all. This event is open to all college-bound students and their parents, not just to those planning to attend FVCC. Stop by the Career Center for more information. The student store will be open today from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. for you to purchase Wolfpack gear for volleyball state and semifinals for football. Go Pack! Attention juniors and seniors interested in earning free college credits through FVCC's Running Start program, but don't know where to start, the Running Start registration for spring semesters opens November 15th. Interested students should join us for a Running Start information session Monday, November 15th during both lunches in the GHS conference room or schedule a time to visit with our Running Start advisor, Shelley Eberhardy, on Mondays or Wednesdays in the B200 pod. Sign-up sheet available in the Career Center. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors, if you're interested in taking the ASVAB test, then you have an opportunity to on Thursday, November 18th at 8.15 in the main office conference room. The ASVAB, a career exploration test, is great to help you investigate careers capitalizing on your skills and interests. And it's free. The test takes about three hours to complete. You must sign up ahead of time in the Career Center by Wednesday, November 17th. Montana Youth Apprenticeship Partnership, along with Emanuel Lutheran Communities, are offering student apprenticeships in healthcare, building services, and culinary. Learn more about your degree or certification while gaining work experience. Sign up now in the Career Center to attend the information meeting on Monday, November 15th during both lunches. Pizza will be provided. Wolfpack Softball has begun. It's November, open gym schedule. We will meet in the weight room on Mondays from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. and Wednesdays from 1.40 to 2.40 p.m. We will be hitting in the cage and all interested in playing Wolfpack softball this spring should attend. See Coach Connolly in D116 for more information. Teachers, please lead your class in the Pledge of Allegiance after today's episode. The Daily Bulletin and all of the GTV episodes can be found on the GTV YouTube channel or the school website. Thanks for watching and don't forget to respect, respect yourself, respect, respect others, and respect, respect the building. building.